Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a makeup haul for you guys. I got a bunch of new goodies from Sephora, so I'm really excited to show you guys some of the new things I picked up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below so you can join the Kavari crew. And also be sure to give this video a thumbs up because it will definitely help me out. But yeah, I have a, a bunch of new goodies from Sephora. This little bag, guys, $300. Like, is it possible to walk into Sephora and spend less than a hundred. I have a problem. Like I can't just walk into Sephora and get one thing. Like I go in there for one thing and I end up leaving with like 10 things and it's so bad. Like my wallet is crying as we speak, but treat yourself, it's okay. By the way guys, this video is sponsored by Ebates and Ebates is one of the largest cashback sites, including some of my favorites like Sephora, Ulta, Nordstrom, and Boohoo, but they have like a bunch of websites that they're partnered with. So how it works is you just click on the links found on Ebates and you just shop on the websites like you normally would. And then you literally get money back for the shopping that you're gonna do anyway. Like how amazing does that sound? That's literally a shopaholic's dream. And if you do as much online shopping as I do, like it just adds up so quick. What's really cool is that you'll get a $10 welcome bonus when you join for free using my link down below on your first purchase of $25 or more. Ebates is actually doubling their cash back for their refresh promotion week starting from March 14th till March 21st at stores like Sephora, Kiehl's, The Body Shop, and more. So I know you guys are probably like, Nas, just cut to the chase, like you know why we're here. Yes, girl, I got you. So Ebates has provided me with two $100 Sephora gift cards to give to you guys. So to enter the giveaway, it's super simple. All you have to do is have an eligible Ebates account. And if you don't have one already, it's super easy. Just click the link in my description box down below, follow the instructions to sign up, and then come back to this video and click on the second link underneath it to sign up for the giveaway. And just make sure you use the same email address that you use for your Ebates account. And then you're entered. And then also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as my vlog channel. Um, just click that little red button down below. So good luck to everyone who enters the giveaway. I wish you all the best of luck. And now let's just move on to what I got from Sephora. So the first thing I got from Sephora, I don't have it with me because I had to order it because it was out of stock in my Sephora store. But I got my hands on the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I am so excited for this glow kit. Um, I do have another ABH glow kit, but I don't really like it. Like I don't really use it. But when I went into Sephora and I swatched the one with Nicole Guerrero, I think they changed the formula or something because it's so much more pigmented, so much more creamy. I love the color selection, how there's like that silvery color, then they had some pinks, and then it had some like golden champagne tones. I think it's a really versatile palette and I'm so excited for it to come in the mail. Next thing I got is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette and I've been using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette like too much. I really need to get something to like switch it up so I got my hands on this one. It had really good ratings on the website. It's like one of their top rated palettes so I really wanted to try it out for myself and I've seen a lot of YouTubers use it so I'm really excited to use this and just the packaging itself like screams spring to me and I think the color are gorgeous for spring so I'm really excited to use this next thing I got is the Too Faced milk chocolate Soleil bronzer and this is the lightest shade um, I just really want a new bronzer and this one smells like chocolate which is definitely a bonus and I feel like all of my bronzers are too dark for me so I really wanted to try a more like lighter more subtle looking bronzer am i the only one who has like unpartable hair like my hair does not want to ever part next thing i got is this stila magnificent metals glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow that was such a long title but i got this in the shade violet vixen and i do have this in the shade kit and karma and i'm obsessed with it it's so cool it's like a easier way to apply glitter eyeshadow i'll zoom into this but as you can see the applicator is like a lip gloss applicator so it makes applying it to your eyes super easy and simple it's like such a convenient way to apply glitter eyeshadow so if y'all have been watching me for a while you guys know the Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade blacker is like hands down my favorite waterline eyeliner I love it so much so when Marc Jacobs came out with their new matte eyeliners I had to get my hands on it so I got one of their new matte eyeliners in the shade brownie this is number 43 brownie and I'm obsessed oh my gosh guys this color is beautiful I do have brown eyeliners but they're more dark like more chocolatey I love how this one is more light 
and you know sometimes you want to have definition on your lower waterline but you don't want to have a heavy black eyeliner and that's why I'm loving this one and it definitely makes brown or hazel or green eyes pop and I think this is a great way to still have definition on your eyes without looking too heavy. So the next thing I picked up is the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. And I've seen so many good reviews on this powder and I've seen so many people using it. Um, I ran out of my Laura Mercier powder so I needed a new one. I saw a lot of people claiming that the Kat Von D one was actually better. And I'm actually thinking about doing a first impressions get ready with me with all my new makeup that I bought. So if you guys want me to do that, give this video a thumbs up. Let's say, let's get this video to... 12k thumbs up and I'll do that first impression for you guys. Next up from Sephora is one of my staples which is my Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray and I've been using this for years. It's my go-to setting spray. I've tried a bunch like in the past and I always 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 just go back to this Urban Decay one. So I love this one. They did change up the packaging and I've not seen this new packaging. Let me pull it up. Oh, that's so cute. So this is the new packaging. It looks a bit different than the other one. The other one is white, so they made it black, and I actually really like that they changed the color because the white one gets dirty really quick, especially when you're, like, grabbing it and you have makeup on your hands. Like, it gets filthy, like, so quick. So I'm really digging the new packaging. This is just, like, a cult favorite. If you haven't used this, like, this will change your life. Like, get your hands on some Urban Decay setting spray, honey. So the last thing I got is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. And I'm a huge fan of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So when I saw they came out with this new one, I definitely have to get my hands on it. But this one comes in a little pot form. And I got it in the shade Custard, which is the shade that I'm in in the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I don't know if it's, like, the exact same shade. I'm hoping it is. And now that I think about it, I've never used a concealer in this type of packaging like all of my concealers are in like lip gloss looking tubes so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one wears on my eyes so that's everything I bought from Sephora but then also it turns out I reached VIB Rouge status I thought I reached it a long time ago to be honest I think the cashier made a mistake because I've gotten this before I think they just like Maybe it didn't show up in the computer or something, and I didn't say anything. I was like, okay, go ahead. VIB Rouge, guys, is one of the highest levels you can reach at Sephora. So it goes Sephora Beauty Insider. You become a VIB member, and then the step above VIB is VIB Rouge, which is what I am. So that just goes to show how much I spend at Sephora. Oh, my gosh. But in the welcome package, they just gave a little mini NARS blush. And then they also gave me a little selfie lighting thing. Isn't this so cute? I'm so sad, I can't use this because I have an iPhone 7 and it doesn't have that hole to like put it in. That's a shame. So that's it for my Sephora haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and also be sure to enter that Sephora giveaway down below in the description box. So good luck to everyone who enters the giveaway. I love you guys so much. I think I already said that but I just want to say it again. And I hope to see you again for my next video. Bye my loves!